and welcome to Story Time with Pastor Robin. Today is Monday, September 21st, and it is so good to be back doing Story Time with you all again. Special shout out to all of the preschool students at Leroy United Methodist Church. We miss you and we hope that you all are staying safe and we look forward to seeing you when school opens again in January. I am starting this new season of story time with a book about being brave. The story is called When You Are Brave and its author, the person who has written the words, is Pat Zietlo Miller and the illustrator, that's the person who drew the pictures, is Eliza Wheeler. The title is When You Are Brave. Some days when everything around you seems scary, you have to be brave. Brave as a bird that steps from its nest, hoping to soar through the sky. Brave as a dog that wanders for miles, searching for one well-known light. Brave as a caterpillar that builds a bed because some days are full of things you'd rather not do. Like plunging into a pool all by yourself, hoping you'll swim and not sink. Or standing alone in front of a crowd, searching for one friendly face. Or boarding the bus and riding to school wondering what lies ahead. At times like these, the world can seem too big, too loud, too hard, too much. While you feel too small, too quiet, too tired, not enough. On those days, look deep inside to find the courage you need. It might be hidden away, but if you close your eyes and breathe, you will see it shining its light in the dark. Warm, steady, safe. Your light might be small to start, just a spark, but you can turn it into a flame. Picture it in your mind, then imagine it becoming bigger and bolder. You can make your courage so big, it brightens your heart, fills your fingers and flows to your toes. Think about what you're good at, something you love or someone who loves you. No one else will see it, but you'll know you glow and you'll know you are ready. No matter how deep the water, how loud the crowd, how hard the ride, or how much there is to do, you might struggle, you might succeed. People might clap, or laugh, or not notice at all. No matter what happens, you'll be all right.
Because once you find your courage, it's easy to use again and again. The next time life seems scary or you start something new, you can remember when you were brave. And then you can stand and straight, straight and tall and walk. Knowing you are as brave as a bird, a dog, and a caterpillar. As brave as you. The end. So I want to encourage all of you to be brave and be courageous and find your courage and know that everything will be all right. It's good to be with you for story time. We will be doing story time on Mondays and Wednesdays, posting our YouTube videos to our church page at 10 o'clock each day on Monday and Wednesday. So if you have a story that you would like me to read and to share, please let me know and I will do my best to find the book. If you'd like to lend me your book, you can bring it to our church office, put it in the black mailbox outside the church office. Be sure to put your name on it so that I can return it to you and so that I can give a special shout out to you for sharing your book. Again, it's great to be with you. Special shout out to all the preschoolers at Leroy United Methodist Church. We love you and we miss you. And remember, God loves you too. Have a great day. We'll see you on Wednesday. Bye.